on maternity leave and needed to get some extra income and try and figure a way of running my own business and working with having a child and, and doing my own thing. So my idea was to, to launch a local ethical market. I went and walked around the site, which I've known since I was a child, and thought I'd get in touch with Pillington Council and put together a business plan or a kind of pitch for them and went in with it in my hand, not knowing, having not written a business pitch ever. And I went and said, can I run a market here? And it will be very local, very ethical, very community based. And they said yes. I started with 38 stalls and got lots of publicity. Hillingdon Council helped me with publicity and it grew really, really rapidly from 38 stalls. And then it went up sort of 10, 10 stall holders a month. And it's, it sits at about 80 stall holders now, it's quite a big market. I'm surprised by how easy it's been to work with the council. It wasn't my perception before. It's been so easy and so brilliant. And they've allowed me to set up my own business with no outlay, just pay as you go. And they've let me build something that is really good, even if I do say so myself. It's a really good event and thousands of people come to it, it's great. This area is excellent for childcare. We have a leaflet from Hillingdon Council to find out what services were run in my, my borough. And it was great because it just told me of all the mother and toddler groups that I could go to. Kelly, hi, it's Sherry Diol. Just to find out, is there crafts today there? 1.15 and 2.15. Fine, okay, I'll see you then. Thanks, bye. Isa, Isa, quick, hold the buggy, quick. No, don't run from mummy. I'm actually going to go to the Barrow Hall Centre today. It's the children's centre here for mother and toddler groups. Your kids can play with the toys and they've got loads of toys and you can meet the other mothers and then you can just have a chat and the time just goes. Yeah, that's great. There's a craft session running today. They did used to run one session but it was so popular that all the parents that used to bring their children couldn't get in. Now they've run it into two sessions so everyone gets a chance. I've booked the 2.15 session because when it finishes at 3.15 they've got activities at the back of the park. And then go, three, hey! I mean, my friends are quite envious actually who don't live in the borough. They come down to me sometimes just to go to some of these places because they say there's not that much going on in where they are. There might be mother and toddlers once or twice in the week but, you know, they say no, they don't really have anything like this. So, I think this area is fantastic for children as far as Hillingdon Council are concerned. I feel I'm quite lucky really living here. Uh, well, this is a view from my bedroom window. This is the area that we had all the problems with. Uh, vandalism and uh, graffiti and people coming around at night time with their cars and doing wheelies around the, around the square and um, frightening all the old people at night time. We contacted the council and they were absolutely fantastic. Uh, they sent us an application pack. We filled everything in. We got all the signatures, collected all the money, opened the bank account and uh, Within a few months after getting all the estimates and everything in, the council uh, started work. Cracking on now. Uh, getting on a bit now, yeah. yeah. Getting on a bit now. Getting there. Thank you for that. But, uh, You'd be glad to see it done, wouldn't you? Too right, yeah, <laughs> too right. It's coming along nicely. Yeah, we pay 10% of the cost. Hilling and Council uh, and the Chrysalis Scheme pay 90%. And I think that's a fair deal for uh, security and peace of mind. Hi right, Audrey. The bottom gate's going by her wall. But, uh, once it's finished, it'll be perfect. Feel safe at night. So, yeah. all in all, so, a very good job. The Linden Council did come good. Uh, yeah, well pleased. Well pleased. Yeah, yeah, it's the whole thing.
to that is. Hi. Hi. How are you today? I'm fine. Life's so good here. I start really nice. I'm also very caring as well. Did you take your tablets? I don't know about myself. Everything in living means you can do stuff by yourself. Like I can do hoovering by myself. I was only washing up, I can do as well. I've got a new one already. Oh, you have? We support Kira sometimes just once a day, sometimes twice a day, just depending on what she's doing. But she's got the whole flat to herself, so I think she really loves that. She can do what she wants. All right, see you in a while. Enjoy yourself. Kira is quite independent. She goes to college on her own. She, she knows the bus routes and she can travel by herself. I do love living here because I kind of travel by myself now. Take this one out. Yeah. Living here is making me um, smile, it gives some more energy. I'm kind of more lively. Confident actually for myself. Okay. I like living here because it's more um, independent here actually for me. Oh, no worries, mate. Yeah, no worries. <laughs> I was living with my parents, I was about 20 years of age. I decided that I'd been saving and I wanted to move out, find myself a property, get myself on the property ladder uh, and begin sort of adulthood, if you like. It was difficult, I looked for a, quite a few months, probably about 18 months trying to find a property, meeting various estate agents along the way. It was difficult to find a good location and be able to afford it. I then came across the first time buyers scheme with uh, Hillingham Council. So I applied for the grant, uh, a couple of weeks they got back to me, I was accepted. I was awarded £15,000, which was a massive help to the house and buying it. Everything went through fine and within a month I was moving in. It was, it was good, it was good, it was finally my own space. The 18 months trauma was over, the frustration had finished and I had it, uh, it was done. It was a new chapter. For me it's been uh, life changing, I probably wouldn't have this place as good as it's looking at the moment if it wasn't for the council. Uh, everything was fast, quick, it was quite easy, uh, they kept in touch, it was, it was good, it was a good experience. Here you go Candice, if you have a bit.